Thank you for testing yet another ski course. These days, some people use virtual reality equipment for exercise. Do you think that could work? Interesting. Well, I guess if you have a game where you need to swing your arms a lot, it could be a real workout. Maybe you could even simulate cross-country skiing. <laughs> Okay, trying out the new digs. Then pay attention to your dreams. I've heard that what you dream during your first night in a new bed will come true. Do you think there's some truth to it? Yeah, I really like stories like this. They keep life interesting. So, have sweet dreams. for the day, which is good. And you've also completed some extra tasks. Nicely done. If you want to turn in, make a fire and have some food. I'll leave you to your privacy. Elephants aren't the only animals that can reach really high leaves. The giraffes hmm. can do this without a trunk because they're I guess the relaxation is starting to kick in. 
when you take it slow, it will get better and better. It's all pretty zen up here. area. Go a bit closer to the wooden railings and you'll see what I mean. This is what we call the crystal lake. It never freezes due to some geothermal activity that's going on inside that mountain. Pretty nice, huh? But don't think about dipping in. It's just slightly above zero, just like the main lake. slope is so flat and wide, it's basically the German autobahn of cross-country skiing. <laughs> and you know what? You can really go as fast as you like here. Steep. You'll really have to drag yourself up there, quite literally. <laughs> At least there's an upside to it. When it takes a lot of effort to go up, it will be great fun to go down on the other side. <laughs> number three, the biggest we have. It has lots of slopes and even a huge jumping ramp for tricks and kicks. First of all, head over to the local hub though. Of course, before you'll do any skiing, we're gonna have to do a snow cover test for this area as well. Once you're ready, get to excavating the snow block. to clear and you've done it. Great! Now you can hit that snow cube with increasingly strong swings to test its stability. Does it not just break on a light swing? Oh my, that is really bad. The avalanche risk is through the roof. But I have some good news. The cross-country path ahead of you has been fortified. 
You can't go downhill here, that would be suicide. But you can cross country on ahead. That way you'll get to the cannon much quicker. Slow Scouts. <laughs> Now, this is another very special area, a rocky canyon. I think it's really beautiful. Have you ever seen anything like it? Then have a good look. It's definitely special. through these tight spaces. That's really something, isn't it? I remember it from the last time I was there. Kind of brings an otherworldly atmosphere to the place.
According to protocol, the key code has changed in the meantime. The combination for today is 2851. Do you still remember the full procedure? Great, then go ahead. Do you remember the code for the safe? Wow, that is impressive. Um, now take a shell and load it. Open the gate, put the shell into the loading tray and then close the gate again. So far so good. Now for aiming. You'll have to turn the gun barrel way to the left. Looks good. All right, bring it up. Looks good. Hmm. I think the general direction should be all right. So, now pull that red lever and... Fire! <laughs> I'll never get used to this. <laughs> but as fun as it might be to fire that cannon, I find it so horrible that even in our day and age, people are using guns like this to kill each other. I'm really glad that Berta has been taken out of the killing business. until the snow settles. So, better don't go back there today. But of course, you can visit the other two grounds to open some more ski slopes, race for the best times, pick up trash or find more birds. 